Hi everyone, welcome back. So in the previous tutorial, uh, we saw how to establish a connection between a client and a server using socket programming. So now we are going to actually start off with our eco application. So we have already created two files over here, uh, which is one is the eco client and the other one is eco server. And we've written some uh, code of it, right? Now we're going to continue with that. So first uh, we'll start off with the client. Now, uh, what we're going to do is uh, in our eco application on the client side, we're going to ask the user to enter a string and we're going to send that string to the server, right? Then the server will just uh, read the string and send it back to the client, right? So it will be something like an eco effect. Okay. So uh, for doing that, uh, we'll have to read some data from the keyboard and then we'll have to send uh, the data uh, over network to the server. So we are going to make use of something called as streams. Okay. So streams are basically used for reading and writing data. Okay. So there are two types of streams. One is the input stream, which is used for reading data. And the other one is the output stream, which is used for writing data or sending data. Okay. So the first thing which I'm going to do over here is read data from uh, the keyboard. Okay. So for that, I'm going to use a buffer reader object. Okay. So uh, these classes are not available. So I'll just import them. Now what I've done is I, I have written a common uh, import statement over here, which will just import all the classes which belong to the IO package and IO package is basically our input output package. So all the classes which are related to Java IO will be imported. Okay. So now I'll explain you about uh, something about this statement, right? So it says buffer reader user input is equal to new buffer reader, new input stream reader system dot in. Now let's start off from the right hand side. So just look over here system dot in. Now this in is an input stream object and an input stream uh, is uh, capable of reading one byte of data at a time. Okay, so this uh, input stream object, it deals with byte stream of data, right? But uh, we don't want to deal with uh, bytes directly. Okay, so we'll take help from another class, which is an input stream reader. So this class object, it takes uh, the byte stream and it gives us a character stream, right? So it will take the byte stream as input and it will, it will give us a character stream. Now, uh, we still don't want to deal with the one character at a time. Uh, we want to deal with uh, an entire string at a time. So we take help from another class, which is called a buffer reader. So this buffer reader class object is capable of reading an entire string at a time. Okay. So this is our buffer reader object. Now we are going to make use of this buffer reader to read a string from the keyboard, right? So uh, first we'll just ask the user to enter a string. So I'll just say system.out.println enter a string. And after that, I'll use this buffer reader object to read a string from the keyboard. So I'll do something like this string str is equal to user input dot read line. So read line is the method which will wait for the user to enter a string. Okay. And once the user enters the string, it will return that string and that will capture in a string object or reference. Okay. Now we have the string uh, from the user and now we are going to send this string to the server. So for sending, we are going to make use of output stream and the object which we'll use is a print writer object. Okay. So we'll say print writer out is equal to new print writer SOC dot get output stream. So this is uh, the sockets output stream. And then we are passing a Boolean value true over here. Now, what is this true? Now, what happens is, uh, suppose uh, next time when we use uh, this print writer object to send some data, then uh, we'll, we'll have to use the flush method of it. Otherwise, a uh, print writer has a tendency of keeping the data with itself. Okay. So unless we write uh, out dot flush, it will not send the data. Okay. It will keep it with uh, itself. So this true is for auto flush functionality. So as soon as it gets data and we say, uh, and we try to send the data, it will immediately send it. Okay. So suppose 
in the next line we are trying to send the data let's say out.println str so we read the data from the keyboard and we try to send it so in this case if we don't write true over here then it will not send the data okay so after that we'll have to write out.flush then only it will send the data right so to avoid that we are just going to write true over here which is for auto flush so uh, yeah that's it guys for this tutorial so here we are reading some data from the keyboard and we are sending it to the server so we'll continue this in the next tutorial if you like my tutorials do subscribe to my youtube channel so that you get notified whenever i upload a new video thank you for watching